All right, I'm here in Prince George's County. This is a bad one here. Got called out on a normal leak finder mission. I came up, looked around, everything looked pretty good other than this repair that was done and really very rough with the surrounding shingles for the repair. I also saw the same exact type repair right here. I let the homeowner know that, oh, hey, when you got your roof repaired, they were rough with the shingles and those holes are letting water through and she said wait we've never had a roof repair so long story short ended up in the attic found out this was all done during the solar panel installation and was not mentioned to her at all and what happened is there's a big opening in the plywood so i don't know if they did their layout wrong or something and they tore up some shingles they definitely messed up some plywood they removed some plywood they put it back and they left an opening all the way across you can put your hand in there. I got a video from the attic I'll put up. So basically, there's a big section between the two pieces of plywood where you can be in the attic and touch up against the uh, underlayment tar paper and the back of the shingles. And of course, the holes that they left in the shingles now allowed the water to get to that spot, which it never had an opportunity to do because it doesn't usually rain uh, all day long like that. It went through these openings. There's a bunch of them. Either way, it found its way in and into that spot where the plywood is missing, a section of plywood, and it's leaking right below that spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a document for her showing all the pictures. I'm gonna temporarily do some things to stop it from happening if I can, but I really feel like that missing plywood is actually under that solar panel. So I don't know how much I can do, but I'm gonna to try to seal up things so water can't get under the shingles anymore for now. And then we'll assist her with taking the next step.